Hi, and welcome back to Type 1 Diabetes Explained. Today we're doing something a little different. We're going to look at the top 10 most common myths about type 1 diabetes and why they're wrong. We'll start here at number 10. Insulin pumps can cure diabetes. People often think that as soon as a person is put on an insulin pump, they are essentially cured. It's doing the same thing as a pancreas, right? Unfortunately, it's not that simple. Pumps are a wonderful way to treat diabetes, but they don't cure it. But don't worry, much research is being done on technology that can cure diabetes. Number 9. Diabetes is contagious. This is a worry much more common among younger children who don't understand the disease. My friend has diabetes, so I need to stay away from them so I don't catch it. This is not true. Diabetes is not contagious and you can't get it from being near or touching someone who has, so don't worry. Number 8. People with diabetes can't get certain jobs. This one is partially true, but still mostly false. There are only a few specific jobs that people with diabetes can't get, such as in the uniform military. But other than those few jobs, all opportunities are still open. Chances are, people with diabetes can still get the job they have always wanted. Number 7. Kids will grow out of their type 1 diabetes. Type 1 is classified as a juvenile onset disease, and most people get it while they are children, but this doesn't mean that they can grow out of it as they get older. It's a lifelong disease, so unfortunately, you're in this one for the long run. Number 6. People with diabetes can't play sports. This is one of the most illogical myths on this list, as exercise and sports are actually good for people with type 1 diabetes. While it can be beneficial, people with type 1 diabetes still need to be careful while exercising to make sure that their blood sugars don't get out of control, but otherwise, people with type 1 diabetes can definitely still play sports. Number 5. Regular exercising and a healthy diet will prevent people from getting type 1 diabetes. This is another illogical statement. Everyone can get type 1 diabetes, whether they exercise every day or have never exercised in their life. Healthy eating and exercise will help you treat diabetes, but it won't prevent you from getting it in the first place. Number 4. Insulin can cure diabetes. This is where people get in trouble with the difference between treat and cure. Insulin is a treatment for diabetes, but not a cure. Diabetes can't be cured, for now, but it can certainly be treated. Insulin does not get rid of diabetes, but helps keep it under control. Number 3. People just need to live healthier to get rid of their diabetes. This is more true for people with type 2 diabetes, as diet changes can help treat it, but less so for type 1. It is completely true that living a healthy lifestyle will make treating diabetes easier, but it won't suffice completely. People with type 1 diabetes don't just need to live healthier to treat their condition. Number 2. People with diabetes can't eat sweets. This is a big one. People naturally assume that people with diabetes aren't allowed any sugar and are required to eat all sugar-free foods. This is not true. People with type 1 diabetes can still eat sugar, but just like everyone else should be doing, they need to limit themselves to a reasonable amount. People always ask whether people with type 1 diabetes can have sugar. They can have the same amount as others should be eating. Number 1. People get diabetes by eating too much sugar. This is by far the biggest misconception. People do not get type 1 diabetes from eating too much sugar or being overweight or out of shape. If someone has type 1 diabetes, it is not their fault. They had no control over whether they would get diabetes, and there was nothing that they, their guardians, or doctors could have done to prevent it. Well, hopefully we've shed some light on some of the most common myths about type 1 diabetes, and explained why they are simply not true. As always, for more information, visit our website and check out our other videos. Next time someone falls for one of the myths around type 1 diabetes, you'll know the facts.